somewhat of a rush this morning so uh, I've already got set up and taken a few images of the sunrise this morning um, down here at uh, Wallasey at uh, New Brighton so I've come down this morning specifically to take a sunrise which I've managed to get and I've got uh, a few photos which I'll pull up in a moment uh, really quite pleased with those to be honest uh, mad mad rush uh, didn't leave myself enough time but anyway managed to get myself into a nice location and uh, I think I've got some nice shots so we'll see those in, in a few moments uh, the plan for today is to have a wander up the beach to Perch, uh, Rock Fort and the uh, iconic lighthouse something I've uh, taken photographs of many times before and uh, the last time I was here uh, the vlogging just did not work and I ended up with no audio whatsoever for the entire day uh, so that was a real shame because I got some nice footage but no video maybe I'll do a voiceover sometime but uh, today it's a revisit and uh, it's not too cold um, looks like we're gonna have a wonderful uh, uh, sky this morning with uh, lots of broken clouds knocking about so that's always good and uh, a nice a nice an hour, hour or so wandering around and see if we can find some interesting pictures and uh, I'll uh, come back to you in a little while right now I'm gonna pack up the gear from this location and have a wee stroll that away and uh, see what we can find down there what I'm waiting for now is I'm just waiting for the Sun uh, to reappear so right now I'm just waiting for the sun to reappear as you can see behind me uh, the sun is now gone from this location up behind that bank of clouds and it's going to be coming up up there um, that will give us some harsh light so there'll be no uh, shoot direct into the sun from here um, but I'm going to try and find some interesting locations where uh, the side light from the sun will light up the image and we'll see what we get it's a beautiful morning and I've been waiting since November for a sunrise I've managed to get a few sunsets but this will be the first time since November that I've managed to get a sunrise, so quite pleased. And uh, I'm going to have a little wander around. There's, there's no one here at all. I'm totally alone. I've got the beach to myself. And uh, I've got the morning to myself. So I'm just going to have a little wander down and see what we find further down. See you in a minute. So, the Brighton Lighthouse, Perch Rock Lighthouse, very iconic uh, lighthouse, one I've been visited many times, taken quite a few nice photos. Today, the uh, sun's not breaking through the cloud, unfortunately, there's no wind. <laughs> should we be complaining there's no wind? Well, no wind means uh, sound quality should be better camera should be steadier but unfortunately the clouds aren't moving so they're not cleared in a way to allow the Sun to break through and give me some beautiful side light on this slice house which is really what I wanted but nevertheless we're out this morning so we'll make the best of a bad job as they say Really iconic lighthouse here at New Brighton uh, near Wallasey. When the tide's in, it's completely uh, submerged around the base. And when we get some really good storms, we get some cracking wave action against this. Uh, right now, it's sat in the basin, a little bit of water around it, which I might make for a photo. But uh, what I caught my eye was the uh, S shape down there and I figure if I get to the other end of that and use that S shape of this small stream that's leading out to the bay potentially use that as a leading line to the back side of the uh, lighthouse a shot I've never taken before so I'll take this opportunity today to give this a go So what I'm looking at here is the, the S shape 
of the stream coming away from the lighthouse, leading up to the lighthouse. And uh, I framed the lighthouse on the left hand side and allowed the leading line to come in from the left of the picture and then move across to the centre and in towards the lighthouse. Uh, current settings are 125th at f16 and uh, I'm just the route to take the shot. Take a second shot, as you can see, 60th of a second at f10, and uh, not blowing out the highlights, nor am I uh, losing any of the darks. So we'll give this a shot. So we've still got some sh some sign of the sun over there. It is up there behind them clouds, but unfortunately, it's just not going to break through. Although the clouds make for quite an interesting uh, dynamic uh, picture there, so I'm okay with that. I'm happy with that. Over there, we've got uh, the docks at Liverpool, and then. The estuary to the River Mersey. And have a little wander a little bit further down the beach and see what else we can come up with this morning. So I've just taken a walk down the rest of the beach, keep my eye on the tide because it is coming in and uh, there is a potential to get cut off, but I'm going to climb these rocks. Uh, so this marker, this uh, marker for the entrance to the uh, the channel here which uh, on the night time lights up but uh, during the day it just sits there proud. We've got some interesting foreground in regards to the rocks and a slight leading line uh, from the water's edge there curving around to the right and, and towards uh, towards the marker buoy so I quite like this. Set up at uh, f11 uh, 125th of a second and uh, looking at the histogram reasonably set there not losing any of the darks and um, just a tad below on the highlight so that should make it a good picture so I'm going to give this a shot and uh, see what we get well that was interesting got some nice pictures there I think I'll have to uh, have a look when I get back in the uh, on the computer but uh, on the back of the camera I really like those it's been a bad morning to be honest, I mean there's been no wind and it's not really cold, I've not needed gloves or, or my woolly hat and uh, it's been really really enjoyable this morning so uh, I think the tide's coming back in now uh, I don't want to be stuck here between a rock and a, a wet place so I'm going to wander back and uh, I might take a drive further down the new Brighton promenade uh, to some other locations I know and I know the beach is a bit wider there so there may well be some uh, time for some uh... where are you going there may be some time for some uh, more photos so we'll have a wander down there but all in all cracking morning Sunday morning absolutely beautiful it's a shame the uh, sun didn't break through you can't have everything we just keep trying. So maybe I'll come out again tomorrow. Oh, stunning. Stunning. And I found an S curve. Yes. Well made up. Would have liked to have uh, captured the lighthouse with some lights, some uh, side lighting on it, some sunlight. Uh, I have taken shots of the lighthouse before and captured it uh, with some nice sunlight. So I might post that. As part of this uh, this vlog, uh, there's one particular picture I was quite pleased with, so I'll probably post that one. In the meantime, slow stroll back to the car and uh, a cup of coffee, and then a, a toodle down the prom. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, it's pretty gorgeous. Hey, you can't knock it, can you? You can't knock it. There's a knock. 
not a great deal going on. It's really only one or two possible positions here. Unless I go for more detailed shots, which I might come across. Right now I'm looking at the curve of this concrete breakwater. Uh, out in the distance, there's an oil rig parked up. And we've got the, the windmills and we've got another channel marker at the end of the breakwater. So as I've walked this far, I suspect I'm trying to shot down here. Sometimes you can never find an S curve. And today, I've stumbled across two. I just found another one there in the foreground. We'll have a little investigation, see if we can find a composition that that leads into. It's a glorious day. Absolutely glorious. Hey, look at the sky. Hey. Look at the sky. Beautiful. So that's a sure sign that the tide is coming in because we've got one of the uh, one of the ships making its way into the mouth of the uh, Mersey Channel. So they come in on the tide. So I'm gonna have to keep my eyes on that. And I should have brought wellies because now my feet are wet. And we've got some sunshine. Right, so I think I'm going to set up, use this waterway and the uh, concrete breakwater as a leading line into the marker and we've got some nice interest in the clouds so just give me five minutes while I get set up and then I'll uh, come back. So uh, I've got the shot, we're at 125th F16 and uh, Quite a bit of reflection in the white stone and a little bit off the water so i put a polarizer on just to calm that down a little bit and uh, we'll see how this one comes out Well, I reckon that's got to end it for today. Tide's certainly on its way in. I've got wet feet. I've got a few nice images, I think. Well, I hope so. Um, what a cracking day. It's been absolutely beautiful today. Really enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah. So, New Brighton. New Brighton Beach. New Brighton Promenade. And the iconic lighthouse here at New Brighton. At the uh, Rock... Per, well, Fort Perch Rock it's called, Fort Perch Rock, Fort Perch Rock, and uh, yeah, a cracking day, the sun's finally came out, which is lovely and warm this morning, I've got a bloody fleece in this jacket and I need to take that off, I've got a bloody dog coming over here now, checking me out, oh he's buggering off, anyway, I hope you enjoy the vlog, I hope you enjoy the pictures, and uh, until the next one, take care, I'll see you soon, ta -da.